Thank you for joining me. This is Mark with Northern Amp. We're in SolarGen. I wasn't really going to record I, today. I was going. I've been working on getting built up and kind of learning a little bit more, so I can kind of tell how to do stuff a little bit better. Uh, but I had a comment about the repair center for the robots, and I have one of them being worked on right now, so I wanted to show that. Let's take it off a of pause. As you can see that the robot went and laid down. It is saying that it's blocked. But the robot, I, I came up and then the robot came in and sat down on the, on the bed. So I don't know if, hopefully it's being worked on. It doesn't really say exactly what's going on. I think it, oh here, let's see where. Yeah, it's not really saying that it's being worked on, but there's a... See, it is laying down. I think it which should be working. We'll keep an eye on it. I'll kind of show around the, the colony. I did start over again because I wanted to get a little bit better. As you can see here, I've got, I've got my hospital and I've got an airlock over here that goes down to where there's another... This is one of the ones that gets a lot of different min, um, materials you have to get to get to this you have to do the research I currently got research going on um, for the engines so it'll be 50% cheaper to bring ships and the other thing right now I hit 90% happy on my thing and that's because what I do now is I when I build a bed bedroom I put a bathroom right at the back of it and that seems to make them happy which I think it would me too <laughs> have your own bathroom um then we got a rec center it's got the virtual reality uh and then yeah this is my i've got a lot uh, oh, i have his name written down had uh kind of gave me a tip about uh, some of these facilities out here i didn't really realize that you know when you go to build one of these here i'll show you in the you get wrong direction on these it says you know like uh, say this one it's got with the mining and then it says zero below the, the drum so there's actually none of that in this area the one that I've got that I just showed you a second ago as you can see it's got the like it's got dirt and 142 and then metal and, and like that it shows how much you would get per hour uh, when you make it so I had a whole bunch of like this one that had for water and I had like a bunch of these for oxygen and there is no oxygen and no HH or no CO2 so this time around I didn't build any of those I built a lot of these I did put one of this one because I wanted to get the uh, hydrogen I think that's what I HE bottle it does get some the reason I did that is because it's high priced you can get quite a bit of money for for that uh, let's see, I put up lights, and as you can see, I've got 100% battery for my, or 100% power for my colony, because this is all generators, and I have it set up in the facility that I'm producing oxygen from ice, which I'm getting the ice from all of these here. As you can see down here, it's ice is one of the things that they produce. And then I have the facilities that make water from the ice. And then I have another uh, machine that turns uh, water into hydrogen and oxygen. And then I have another machine in my facility here that makes fuel. And the fuel is what powers the generators. So you need to, you need to kind of have a, a supply chain. And that was one of the things I didn't really... You know, it didn't dawn on me right away when I first started trying it. But thank you for giving me that tip. If anybody has any tips, you know, feel free to comment them down below. I, you know, I'm trying to learn so when people watch these videos, they can use this video to kind of take a get a shortcut out of it and not have the hassle like I did trying to learn it. And you might be able to better expand your colony. My last one, uh, the one I had recorded previously. I didn't have sufficient power generation when it got dark my whole colony went dark and I, you couldn't I couldn't advance anymore so I had to start over I've got a lot of uh, storage this is batteries for my research 
So that's what I was in the midst of building more computer generate um, computer batter backup batteries for my computing power because I'm only at 58% right now. Let's jump into the research real quick because I did just get done. As you can see, these are all the things that I've researched so far. I'm still kind of learning what each of these things is for. Superconductor, nuclear power. I'm not going to walk, you know, go through all this stuff right now. Um, raise food. Oh, that raising meat. I'm the Indian um, the, from India, so they don't, their diet doesn't have the meat in it, so don't have, that's not really a concern right now. It will be once I get other countries and stuff, but we'll just throw that on our, our research. It, it's not researching as fast because I don't have the, as, um, the capability quite yet. I'm thinking because it, it's still showing as blocked. He's still sitting in that bed. Let's turn it off. Maybe he'll get out. I need to be able to rotate it if you know I don't know if it's maybe it's backwards but yeah see it's not letting me maybe it isn't working he had mentioned that he couldn't get it to to work let's look at the oh no full charge it does look like it is going up very slowly but oh yeah there we go he's getting up now I might be able to oh never mind <laughs> I might have to take and turn it once he is done repairing because when somebody's working on a machine it won't let you move it. Let's see. Yeah, it won't let me move it right now with him laying in it. So the other thing I can't figure out. So if somebody knows, it it tops out at 1,000 in stock, no matter what it is. And I've got this is all storage here, and then I've got a huge storage area. Where is it? Right here too. And these are 48 storage for those. And each of these holds quite a bit. But it won't let me get any more than a thousand at a time. It stops production at a thousand. I am starting to run low on money. I do have another contract for sending uh, this uh, rare metal to Earth. I'm still not real sure on or no deliveries. So I don't know how to get it to to send it to him. I did sell some of that. I I had set it to sell, and then I got this contract. And they came and picked it up. I'm not sure if I need to somehow specifically say, okay, this grouping of rare metal is for this contract. Not real sure how to do that yet. So if, if you do know how to do that, let me know down in the comments how to send to fulfill contracts. I think you need to have 36 people. I'm not sure if it's 36 humans or do the robots count because I think I'm at 31 people right now in my colony so I'm going to be continuing to add more rooms um, it seems to be working pretty good with the room with the bathroom and once you get to a certain point once I have enough people then I can start adding like uh, cabinets and things like that I do have a couple beds in the hospital for a recovery room the big thing is, is I've, I'm producing the the power I need. I'm producing the food that I need. Oh, that was the other thing I was going to show. Was uh, where is it? I've got. Uh, where is it? I wanted to show my food production. Yeah, right here. It does call for. I think it was. Let's see. It's asking for 15 farming robots, but I've got eight. It seems to be doing pretty good because they're moving between plants. I don't see needing a robot for each plant just to stand at the plant and do, you know, even though it is starting to show that I'm lacking cuisine, we can see what it is that we're missing. That's no, not that, not water. Oh, and the other thing is this uh, bio waste. I've got a set up. Yeah, it's a, my pretty expansive right now. Oh, here we go. Miniature sensors can be placed anywhere to collect huge amounts of data, equipment, Let's see which where is it located? Okay, it's in the research center. Let's uh let's go place one if we can. Oh, so it's it's gonna be doing a lot more than what the the desks are doing. If I can get it placed, that's not gonna be blocking the door. That's the thing. My it's not very big. That's that's the thing. Yeah, here's my bio waste um, storage. I might have to set up a second research area 
and then we can set up one of these. Yeah, I guess this requires another researcher, and I need the the materials for making more batteries. Yeah, that robot repair is still showing like it's blocked, so I'm thinking it's probably still in the bed. Let's go down there and check it out real quick. Yeah, he is. So I'm thinking that that might be why it's not continuing to work on it, which is not good because I need him to be able to get back to work. That's probably why I'm showing lack of cuisine because one of my robots isn't where it needs to be. And it keeps jumping down to it whenever I when I click on it there and it goes to the let's turn it off. I might have to move it to a little bit better location. Maybe back here somewhere. Let's try setting one up. Do I have the materials I need? No, I do not. I need light bulbs, but I don't really have a lot of money left to be buying too much. Let's see what we can, if we can get some. Do I have the money for it? Yeah, it's 5,000. Oh, I need 180 of them. Huh. So 20's not going to cut it. So I, I need another, what, 160? Because I did, what, 20? Oh, good. Okay, I do have enough for, for that. I might have to set up a second one and see if it'll move over to it if I've got this one off. And then I can turn that one. The other thing I had a lot of was these oxygen reclamation things. It, I, this time I, I only have one. And it seems to be working out okay. Oh, good. Okay. Now, let's see if I can, if I rotate it like that, it won't be blocked. Because there's a... Uh, I think that's what it is. See, there's the little um, control pad. We'll see if it can still get past it. Or should I move it over to the other side? Move it over here. There we go. Yeah, because I think it's because that's the, the control pad right there. And I think I'm probably going to be needing, because my robots are going to start breaking down eventually. Oh, now we can do the shirts. The clothing. It researched pretty quick. Yeah, we two of those beds on the other side. It did recharge the robot, so... Um, I'm, it didn't really do the um, didn't really repair it, but that was kind of my fault. Oh, maybe it's coming back. Oh, that's an astronaut. Oh, what's going on here? Why am I? Did I run out of fuel or something? No, I've got a thousand fuel. I've got. Why are these all? Did these all turn off on me or something? Yeah, my. For some reason, all my generators shut off. Even though I do have a thousand, I think I might have clicked on power off on accident. So you gotta be careful not to click the power button, shutting all these off. It might have done it when I was messing with the the robot's bed. You can kind of tell that there's a light that comes on. There's a red light that comes on in the back, so you know that it's on. Yeah, you don't want to be without power when you're in a big metal structure with no oxygen on the outside. Okay, I think that's... This one's not... Yeah, see how there's a like a red light on the back? You want to make sure those are all on. Yeah, if you go this way, this is easier to see which ones are on and which ones are off, which are all on now. That took me back... Oh, what happened here? Robot is broken. Robot repair site workshop and engineer are required. Like, why is the power off over here now? Too dark. <laughs> Power should be back. We've got the everything up and running again. Yeah, see the generator room is up and going. Did I? Okay, now I just turn that power back on. Do I have to like click on something to turn power back on? Huh? Yeah, just turn that back on. Yeah, it's like I'm going back, needing to turn the power back on in all the rooms. Can't really turn the power back on in the hallway. Yeah, <laughs> that's. That's different. And the, the bedrooms, you can't really do anything about that either. I was able to get the power back on in some of the rooms, but some of them don't have light switches. Oh, are these all off too? Yeah. It's like it turned everything off. Yeah, see all this equipment's off out here too. Yeah, I wasn't really paying attention to what I was clicking on. Yeah, and all my, my lights are off. There, that was a <laughs> that was a little spooky. 
Now who's without a bed? Well, I'll have to figure out what's going on. Um, farms out and everything like that. I have to figure out how to get power back up on all this other stuff. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Let me know down in the comments what you think so far of the series and what you think about the game. Not enough room to cover. Build more. It's doing it again. All it was, was that's just really weird. It was running, working fine. Yeah, see, it just all shut down again. It's not like I'm running out of fuel. I've got a thousand fuel. Okay, I'll play around with this. Have a great rest of your night. Talk to you in the comments. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching one of my videos. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you know exactly when the next video comes out. I do offer a wide range of different kinds of videos, so check out the playlists and you might find something else that you like other than this kind of video you watched today. Thank you so much. Comment down below what you thought or just say hi. Have a great rest of your day.